Okay, let's go. Now, I've just noticed in the, while I was drinking my tea that I'm not, not too happy with that, uh, that there. So um, I'm just going to put a little uh, extra uh, space in there. So, um, you know, always be looking at your work. And if you see a little error, uh, fix it up. Fix it now because you'll never remember later on. Well, that's my... Right. So now um, we want to solve here for... Um, for x1. So, uh, right, let's put that in there. So we can just go x and um, x1. I don't really want to put some formulas in there. So I'm going to go um, type x1 in there and then I'm just going to uh, highlight that and go up here to the font, to the font, and uh, just type subscript. Okay, oh, and there you go, it's made it x1. Alrighty, and, uh, oh, um, x1, um, oh, we can put it, put it equals in there, actually, I think. Uh, that, that's probably better than what I had there before. Um, yeah, I've got it there, but I've put it in another cell there, uh, in the other one, but I think that's actually... A bit better there, and uh, I'm just going to go Control C, uh, Control V. Um, oh, I should have um, done that there, and I'm going to make that a a two. Oops, uh, and I'll highlight it and make it uh, go to the font there. And um, it's um, I'm I'm. Um, walking out of the picture, <laughs> leaving the party. Um, right, and uh, that should be subscript. Uh, okay. Yep, all righty. And, uh, yeah, we'll make these um, 20. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so now all it remains to do uh, there is to um, put the uh, formula in there. Now, you, if you look at the quadratic formula, you'll see that it's uh, uh, minus b plus or minus. So there's two solutions. There's a plus solution and a negative solution. So I'll do the, um, the plus one first. So um, we're going to put a formula in here. And just um, so that I don't, uh, you know, waste too much of your time, I'm just going to click on on here and um, uh, just so that we we know we get it, you know, I'll use that as a guide. So um, we're going to go e e equals. Now equals tells the um, program that it's a formula. And then we're going to go uh, um, bracket. Now um, I'm going to just click on E19 there or C19, no I'm not, I'm going to go, it's B I want, so not that one, I want that one, so that's B uh, there, and I want it to be negative B, because of the formula says minus B, so I'm just going to put a minus in there, now th there's two types of formula, uh, well, referencing, and one is absolute and relative, so in the relative um, uh sort of way that identifies things. Um, for E19, it would go, say, up one, two, three cells and across four, uh, across one, and that would be E19. But in the absolute um, one, which I can get by just clicking on E19 uh, there, I think, and just pushing F4, and that puts those dollar signs in. So that means it's absolute. It will always go to that one. Whereas with the relative one, if I copy this formula um, without those dollar signs down to here, it'll go up three and across one to there, which is not the right cell. So that's what the dollars does. That represents what we call absolute uh, referencing. Now, um, it's negative B, negative B, right? So that's we, we've got that one. And then we're going to... Oh... Control Z. Control Z uh, undoes everything, so we'll just click that there. 
So that's, uh, we've got that bit done. And then we've got to add, right. And we've got to add um, the, um, the uh, minus, the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So um, we can uh, type in their SQRT square root formula, but uh, I, I tend to um, do it another way. Um, so um, I'm going to go, uh, so that's uh, actually minor, b squared minus, not plus, minus. And it's important that you get this, you're very careful with the detail. Bracket uh, four, four is just a number, so we don't need, it's not going to vary. Um, Oh, sorry, no, it's not. Um, so now we've got to put in here um, b squared. So uh, that's b squared. And again, absolute formula, uh, b squared. Uh, now, to square it, we just use the caret and raise it to the power of 2. So up to the power of 2, and that squared it. And then we're going to go minus... And then with a bracket, 4 um, times, which is just the uh, times, so you can just push the, don't, remember to push the, the times on the keyboard and not the X. So it's the 4 times, um, and uh, C19, so 4 um, times 4A, sorry, there's A. 4a, and again, um, need to uh, absolute reference, f4, and uh, multiply by c, which is uh, that one there, and again, the absolute reference. Uh, this, will, this saves you a lot of time when you uh, copy things later on. Okay, um, and then we uh, put a bracket around that, and we've got to square root that. Now, the square root, um, is um, the square root, we can raise it to the power of a half, um, which we will learn in our, a little later on in our course. Um, and, and a half, of course, is 0 0.5. So we just raise that to the power of 0 0.5. Uh, and there's, that's what that is. All right. And so that should be, um, so, so far we've got b squared, minus uh, the square root of, uh, oh, we've got minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And um, yeah, and we've got that there. Now um, we're going to divide that. So we'll go divide um, by, um, and we'll put it in a bracket, um, the, the whole of the bottom, two uh, times, uh, two times, uh, to A, which is C19, which is that one there. Okay, and uh, close the bracket. And righty, fingers crossed. Uh, we could check it there, and we just go enter. Oh, oh, they've done a correction. They've found a typo. Let's just see how that goes. And up, oh, no, things haven't gone quite so good. So let's uh, see what we got. Um, so we can come up here, oh, C19 needs to be uh, F4 for a start, um, and let's see what we've got. So why is um, why have things not so good? So um, we've got minus, okay, uh, equals minus uh, E19 minus, oh, I've got a plus in there, not a, so I could make that a plus. I don't think that'll matter. Plus. Okay, we'll just keep it the same. And uh, E19 to the power of 2 minus 4 times C19 times G19 raised to the power of 0 0.5. Um, okay, there's a double bracket in there. And... Um, I'm just going to put that in there, double bracket, uh, raised to the power of 0 0.5, blah, 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 blah. So I might have left out that bracket. And let's just go enter. 
Okay, they're going to want to correct it again. Uh, and that's uh, come out as negative 2, um, which, um, yeah, that agrees with what I've got there. Um, I'm going to make that up into um, 20. Okay, now, right, now this is all well and good, but um, what you'll find if you come down here, uh, oh, no, oh, negative 2, I had it, oh, right, yes, I want that to be to two decimal places, so, um, so I've got it as 2, so, and you know, because in some cases, um, the numbers are not necessarily um, going to be um, exactly even, so um, I'm going to just uh, change that to two decimal places. Now, you can just come here and increase one. Oh, there you go. It's done. Now, that's uh, another uh, another 10 minutes plus gone. So um, we'll leave that there. We'll have a little break and uh, we'll come back hopefully for the final part.